Go at Reds here. I am going to compare and contrast my older backpack, which is the Wind River Fish Pond Roll Top backpack that I got last winter with uh, the new addition to the fleet. I'm going to review the Fish Pond Submersible Thunderhead backpack and just kind of talk to you about the two different styles of backpacks here. So originally I got the Roll Top backpack uh, on a big trout fishing trip uh, to South America and this, the idea of this backpack is it was gonna live primarily in the boat and be somewhat of a boat bag, or if we were gonna go on a long hike, I could have rain jackets, insulated jackets for cold weather fishing in here in addition to my flies and fly boxes and things. And it worked really, really well. Uh, I'll just kind of talk you through how this works real briefly. It's pretty intuitive. You can really build this thing up and carry a lot of stuff in here, so if you're if you're with a fishing partner, uh, like I was with my spouse on this trip and she gets cold just standing still or doing much of anything, so we had to have a lot of clothes in here. And it was really handy because you could open this thing up and it's got a massive amount of potential volume for soft goods and soft clothing. So it worked great for that and we would pack this thing full and as we needed to shed layers or add layers, uh, it was really handy and we were fishing in a lot of inclement weather and it worked really, really great. Very airtight. I mean, you can barely squeeze any air out of that thing. So waterproofness, fantastic. Where the roll top has a disadvantage uh, is as I'm planning my next uh, big saltwater trip, I'm going to, back to Christmas Island for the first time in a long time and I need to be able to carry a whole day's worth of fishing gear and water and maybe a rain jacket, maybe a larger camera. So I really do need a backpack. And the thing about certain situations, like in Christmas Island, for instance, I might be a half mile or a mile from the beach. So anything I do getting in and out of my backpack, uh, I've got to be able to access it without setting it down. And as I'm planning that trip, I was trying this bag out today in the shop versus this one. When I'm out in the flats, if I need to get access to tools or flies, you really need to be able to rotate your backpack around like this. And I'll do another YouTube review. If you follow the channel, just subscribe or check back on the channel because I'm gonna compare sling packs, backpacks, and hip packs and just pros and cons of each one. But with this one, I can actually open up the zipper I'm envisioning having my rod under my arm or right here so I don't have to set anything down in the water. But then I can open up the zipper and I can actually access my, my fly box, my gear, uh, anything I need out of my stash pocket right there and I can actually get in there and then zip it, you know, obviously all the way back up and then rotate it back around like so. That's why we practice this kind of stuff in advance so you can get real smooth at it for when you're out on the water. And then I'm back to fishing again. Maybe I change flies or something like that. This one, super awkward. Uh, that's one of the primary disadvantages I've found. Waterproofness, this is probably gonna be more waterproof. What we find at Red's is that the, the zippered versions with this waterproof zipper, there's an example right there. Don't always get closed all the way. So I've got my rod latches got in the way there. And in order for that to be perfectly waterproof, you have to make sure that zipper is sealed and a lot of people will end up leaving a little gap right there much of the time versus the roll top. Once it's rolled, it's rolled. Uh, you're not gonna get water in there, but very airtight. Uh, but for instance, if I've got to get gear out of this thing, it's not gonna go on like this and get unrolled. It's almost, it's almost humorous to watch. Because of the huge volume that this one has, it's just very awkward to dig down inside there. So I envision the roll top bags being more of a boat bag, a gear bag, maybe it stays in the, the rig, maybe it stays in the boat. Great for soft clothing and big items that you're putting in and out of there for a little bit more volume. There's a $70 difference currently uh, on the two backpacks. They have the same shoulder straps, the same hip straps. You can put tools, pliers, that kind of stuff on there. They'll both hold a rod tube. Uh, or gear uh, on the side, just like that. They have the same straps, the same latches. As far as pockets go, uh, they each have a stash pocket that Velcros in and out, and I'll show you what that looks like right now, which is really handy. So 
that actually Velcros in and out. Both bags come with a stash pocket uh, like that right there. But as far as technical features, that's one thing when it comes to submersible bags, you're gonna lose a lot of the technical features and technical pockets. So what I like to do is get a couple stash bags like you might use for backpacking, and then I can organize my gear inside like so. So as far as technical angling goes, if you're gonna have fly boxes gear and be able to get in and out of that easily, the zipper wins, I'd say, uh, night and day over the roll top. But if it's largely for clothing and that kind of big gear, roll top's great. One other feature, Fish Pond has great videos, so I'm not gonna take this apart and put it in there. Uh, they make inserts uh, for these packs. And although it says Thunderhead, it will work in the Wind River roll top bag as well. But essentially this becomes a divider system so that I can actually have a square body inside the pack that'll hold its shape at the bottom. And then I can organize fly boxes and gear in the bottom using this. If you're interested in this, you can buy it separately. There's probably a product link in the video description. And Fish Pond's videos are much better. They probably did like 100 takes to just get it right and short and easy to understand. But both good products. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna use uh, for more technical angling, is the Fish Pond Thunderhead submersible backpack. This is going with me on my next Christmas Island trip and probably any all day hiking trips uh, or excursions where I'm gonna need access gear and flies and other small items out of my backpack from time to time.